What's going on, everyone? What's going on? All right. So I just obviously uh, free agency has been going on and there's just been so much that's been going on with every team pretty much. Um, but obviously the Phoenix Suns currently have, I think, 15, 16 players on their roster right now. So um, which I will be doing a video on Eric Gordon coming to Phoenix eventually. But uh, I just want to I just want to talk about something real quick. Uh, I know it's uh, this is going to get some people, you know, in a controversial argument, probably. But uh, what I want to talk about is why the Phoenix Suns should give DeAndre Ayton one more chance. And I know what people are probably going to say. People who have been subbed to me, I know what they're going to say. Oh, you've been wanting DeAndre Ayton gone for a while now. You've been crapping on him since the Maverick series. You've been doing this and that lately. Why would you say, oh, you want to give him another chance? Now that I think about it, that's probably the best option for the Phoenix Suns uh, because this offseason, there's been a lot to think about revolving around the Phoenix Suns, starting with the whole DeAndre Ayton situation. And obviously with uh, the new head coach and the the new assistant coaches and whatnot and the new team, it honestly giving Aiden one more chance would be interesting. And the reason I say that is because a big reason why me personally, a big reason why I think DeAndre Ayton played soft, didn't really play like a true center, didn't really want to be here that much, was because of Monty Williams. Because you guys remember ever since the 2022 uh, season, him and Monty Williams didn't get along, which led to Aiden getting benched in Game 7, which obviously we, we knew the ending of that game. Um, and ever since then, Aiden didn't really play the same as he used to be. He didn't really show up in big moments. He didn't really, you know, help out as much. And when I say um, help out, I mean, and as far as next year goes, when I say give him one more chance, what I'm talking about is his uh, his toughness on the court, his rebounding, his defensive style, because I'm not really worried about his scoring because we've seen what he can do. And also when you got Devin Booker, when you got Bradley Beal and Kevin Durant on your team, chances are as the fourth option, you're not going to really score as many points. So I know he's a number one overall pick. People are going to say, oh, he should be getting 35 points, you know, a game or whatever. But with three superstars on your team, that's not really going to that's not really going to pan out as well. Even and you can even make the case for guys like Bradley Beal as well. Do you think he's going to score 30 points a game? I mean, with a super team, that's just not easy to do. So when I say Aiden should get one more chance on this team next year, what I'm really talking about is his rebounding toughness and just his defense and just not playing soft. That's what I'm referring to. Um, not really worried about his scoring that much. And honestly, before the whole drama between DeAndre Ayton and Monty Williams went down, you guys remember what DeAndre Ayton did in the 2021 playoffs when we went to the finals? I mean, he completely dominated the Lakers. He shot like 80% from the field. And then in that Nugget series, he shut down Jokic for the most part. He shut down Jokic, and he was able to really be physical on the court in that series. Clippers series, I mean, same thing. Was able to do his part. And then, obviously, in the finals, when you're going up against the Greek freak, you're not really going to – chances are you're not going to do as much. That was about the only series in that playoff run that he really didn't show up in. And, obviously, it was the biggest one, but you get my point. So, a lot of people counting out DeAndre Ayton saying we need to trade him. Now that I think about it, with Frank Vogel as our head coach, honestly, I wouldn't be shocked if Ayton was able to turn it around next season. And I know that's a big switch up for me because I've been – I've been talking trash on the guy for the most part, but with the news that's been coming out, and may I remind you, Frank Vogel, he wants DeAndre Ayton back on this team next year. So my thing is, if Frank Vogel's defensive scheme can turn DeAndre Ayton around as far as his defense goes, the Suns, uh, off like offensively and defensively, could be a really, really great team. next. And remember, on the bench, we have tall players on this team now to back up DeAndre Aiden when he needs a breather. So my whole thing is a lot of people are saying uh, Aiden's not going to be, you know, what he – Aiden's not going to be good next year, this and that. Honestly, I'm not going to judge him on next year until I see what, you know, if Frank Vogel can really turn him around or with Monty Williams gone, maybe DeAndre Aiden can go back to what he was in that 2021 playoff run. Because we all know what Aiden is, you know, truly capable of. We've seen him do good before. And my last thing, my last thing is 
Suns fans, where was this energy at when you guys wanted to extend this man after the finals year? Because people, I know people are going to talk about me switching up uh, if they see this video, but real quick, I just want to bring up the fact that after DeAndre Ayton completely dominated in that 2021 playoff run, you guys wanted to extend this man. You guys wanted to give him a max extension. But then the following year, he has one terrible playoff series, and you're saying, oh, we should have traded him to Indiana for Miles Turner and this and that. It's like, where where was the same energy at when Aiden was playing good? Now, I get he's been playing bad these past couple of years, but if Aiden plays good under Frank Vogel and he actually turns everything around, I hope you guys switch up like the way I'm like the way I'm doing right now. I'm not completely switching up on Aiden. I want to like I'm on the, I'm one of those guys that wants him to prove it. But I wouldn't be shocked if Frank Vogel, his defensive scheme, uh, the way he coaches and with the way Monty Williams is like out of there, basically James Jones kicked Monty out. I mean, we're keeping DeAndre Ayton for a reason. I'm I don't know if James Jones really believes in DeAndre Ayton or if uh he just kept him because Frank Vogel wanted him back. But I wouldn't be shocked if Aiden was able to turn it around next year just because of the fact that the drama between him and the team is pretty much gone now, which the only drama he had was with Monty Williams pretty much. So we'll see what, I mean, I I'm definitely interested to see what happens. Uh, I want to know what you guys think. Uh, do you think Aiden can turn it around next season uh, with this brand new team and with this brand new coaching staff? Honestly, I would not be shocked if he was able to. But And I'm not saying he's going to be completely good, like completely dominant, like an actual number one overall pick. But I'm just talking about his, his defensive uh, gameplay and his rebounding. That's what I'll be looking for him to improve on next season. But once again, let me know what you guys think about this. Um, let's see if Hayden turns it around next season. But with that being said, guys, have a great rest of your day, and I'm gone.